Hey guys, it's Nate. Uh, wanted to uh, do an unboxing. So, got a couple things in the mail today, so I wanted to show off. Um, so, first of all, I have no idea what this is. I really don't. It says, fun, calm customer service. That's all I got. Mm. So, box, knife. Ooh. Let's see what's in here. So, how's everybody's day going today? I know it's been a long week. Um, been kind of crazy lately. Ah, okay. Golden Girls Rose. That's from my wife, my baby Jessica. That's cool. Yeah, I'd ordered that through Walmart. Um, dot com. And just to let everybody know, we you know we had those bad storms not too long ago here. And our Walmart that I usually pick up everything from, uh, roof actually collapsed in. So it kind of makes sense that they actually shipped it to my house versus shipping it to the Walmart because I can't get to the Walmart. Um, but yeah, it's it's been it's been interesting this week. So. I got me some fan mail from Ricky Domes. All right, but well, we're gonna save this for last because we can. Now, I showed you guys off um, some stuff I had bought before uh, and said, hey, you know, I'm a huge music fan, and I am, I always will be. Um, but I kinda like sharing other things like that, you know, with you guys. Other than just toys, you know. So, just to give you guys kind of a background of who I am, I am a retired master sergeant from the Air Force. Um, I had a good long career in. I did some work in the Army, and then spent a lot of time overseas. Uh, Plastic Attic and I were kind of talking about that the other day. Because things are a little different now in the service than what it was like when I came in, you know, in the late 90s. So, it's completely different. Um, Alright, so, what we have. This is Mike Watt, the Ring Spill Tour 95. So, what's significant about this, if anybody knows um, about Mike Watt, Mike Watt um, was a big guy in the in the 90s as a bass player, um, but he did a lot of a lot of stuff. But this one is significant because this is the tour he did with Eddie Vedder, Dave Grawl, and Tad Smith. So this is this is really cool. Uh, I'm really happy to have this one. All right, set that there for now. Oh yeah. So, all right. So, I am a huge grunge fanatic. Um, late '90s alternative rock and everything. Um, about the late '90s, it kind of went downhill. In my books. That's just my own opinion. Um, this is this is music in my book. Um, my own opinion, like I said. But yeah, this is the uh, Mother Love Bone. On Earth as it is, it complete works. What it has is it's got the Shine uh, extended play as well as the Apple uh, long play record. It's got a book, envelope, um, and this is thing is massive. It's heavy too. But yeah, I'm a huge, huge fan of those, especially Nirvana, Pearl Jam, Alice in Chains, um, Bottle Love Bone, Temple of a Dog. But uh, there's a lot of them out there that get overlooked, and that was the ones that I first started out with, with being Green River, Mud Honey, 
which eventually turned into Mother Love Bone. Um, and then you had the Melvins. I mean, you had the the Human. I mean, it was it was a good time. You know, if you if you were living in Seattle, I wasn't, of course, but I got to hear a lot of their music, which was nice. Um, so it was cool, and I really, really, really appreciated a lot of the music, and I still do to this day. That's why I still listen to Pearl Jam. I still listen to the same things I listened to the 80s, 90s, 2000s, and today. Still listen to it, listen to it all the time. And that's just who I am. I'm a huge music junkie. Um, I'll keep listening to the same stuff. And I still love a lot of other music, you know, like blues, like C. Ray Vaughan, Buddy Guy, um, Billie Holiday, and then the classic rocks like Zeppelin, Floyd, um, Skinner, you know, a lot of them. Because I'm from the South. If you're from the South, you gotta like Skinner. Sorry, it's just a requirement. Um, but yeah. So, just wanted to show these off too, because, like I said, I've been waiting for this for a long time. This actually is sold out everywhere. Um, so, I got this through bullmoose.com. Um, they hooked me up with this one. They didn't have any, hardly anything left. So, I'm kind of glad I got them. I think they only had like two left. So, I got this one. Alright. So, to further ado, the Ricky Dones box. Alright. So Ricky, I really appreciate this man. I know you are out of your way to go look for stuff, and I like to go out and help people find stuff as well. Um, and I really appreciate you going through all the effort to get this. Um, and I just went over 50 subscribers this last week, so thank you everybody that supports me. Um, it I really appreciate it. I hope to keep doing this, and I enjoy this, and I, I think everybody else. Enjoys me doing it, so I hope they keep helping out and finding stuff and kind of growing. All right, that's it for the knife. Let's see here. Oh. All right, Ricky. I know we were talking about one, but you sent me two. I hope everybody enjoys what I've been able to get them. Um, it's, I, I like to, like I said, it's, it's definitely fun. And just hunting for the stuff is kind of cool. Um, but it's been, we've got a lot of stuff lately, but there's nothing at Walmart or Target lately. Oh, yeah. And Ricky does an amazing chip job, guys. I mean, I, I can't get over this. I highly recommend. Um, and I hope you I hope you get your package tomorrow, man. I mailed it out yesterday, so I'm hoping it gets there for you. Um, oh yeah. So Logan, um, this is a hot topic. You know, Logan one. We don't have a hot topic in my town. Um, the closest one is I think. 35 or 45 minutes away um, so I don't get a chance really to go up there because I don't have a lot of time um, but I really appreciate it man he's gonna go with my other one he's gonna go with my uh, here I'm just gonna pick it up <clears throat> so what was cool is the other day in the mail don't know if anybody saw it but I was able I got my card in the mail from the movie um, they only did so many of them, so it was kind of cool that they sent them away for free to all the people that went through them. So yeah, that's bad. I love that. Save wrapping for later. We all recycle. We all reuse. That's the name of the game. Um, I'm really wondering what's in this one though, because we had traded for that one. I mean, he's got a big heart, guys. Ricky really does. He really helps out. You know, he does things that, you know, that are so awesome for our group. I'm excited, people. I'm really excited about this one. Oh yeah. 
Super Saiyan God, Super Super Saiyan Vegeta. I just got this one too. Uh, I think it was last weekend. Um, so yeah, I still I still love the design on it. I really do. I'm um, still need to get Goku Beerus and the regular Vegeta, but thank you, thank you so much, Ricky Domes. Thank you, man. I really appreciate it. Um, so what we're gonna do is if if we can get to 100 subscribers, I'm going to give the other one away that I had um, picked up last week. This one's not going anywhere, Ricky. I'm keeping this one. Um, so, if we can get to 100, I will give away the other Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegeta, and a couple of other things, which I'm not going to tell you what it is. Um, so, more to come. Um, so, yeah. Um, Thank you all my subscribers. If you like this video, like, share, and subscribe down below. Um, and just send everything around. Um, did, been doing pictures and stuff lately. Um, got those new Transformers in yesterday. So you'll see a lot more stuff coming. Um, I've got two of the five reviewed so far for the Warbatron oversized Bruticus thing. Um, yeah, they are fun. They are interesting. I never had um, messed with a lot of KOs like this before, so it's definitely di different. But yeah, I think you guys are going to like it once I get it done. It just takes a while. I mean, I got a family. I got kids. They take priority over everything, people. Um, but I do want to do these. That way people can see them off. Um, so, all right, guys. This has been your been Nate, your redneck from Georgia. You've been you've been on an episode of Nate's Nation. Keep watching, keep keep sharing, and keep on hunting. All right, guys. Bye.